Hi everyone and welcome to Case of the X Tarot reading for March 2018. I'm doing the Case of the X readings a little bit different this month. Instead of looking at the X energy through your sun sign, I am actually going to base the reading off of your X's sun sign. So this video is for those of you that have a Gemini X and we are going to um, explore the energies between the two of you in March of 2018. So this is the Vice Versa Tarot and on one side we have um, the frontal view which is the outer self and on the other side we have the back view which is the inner self. So in regards to your ex, I'm going to pull one of these cards to see you know what is going on with them how are they viewing you and this relationship in the month of March what is the primary overall energy between the two of you as far as they're concerned anyways okay so we have the king of cups this here tells me your Gemini X is very within themselves you know when it comes to the relationship that they share with you and how they feel about you um, they're kind of in a place of contemplation of that this um, because we have you know the Pisces symbol here it's they may not be they might be more in like fantasy land about you than reality the relationship itself so i feel like their perception of your guys's relationship is not exactly you know what it is because they're in the inner self so it's really about how they're feeling what they're thinking what they want what they're going through like that's where they're at in march it's more um about them okay then it is about let's just say you they're in a place of contemplation now with this card um, this to me is more of a neutral energy this doesn't indicate one way or the other if they want to get back with you or if they don't want to get back with you okay it's they're just they have emotion for you for sure but what does that really entail for them? That's where they're at. And I don't feel like they're coming at it from um, the most logical place, which is kind of opposite for Gemini. Like this is more about emotion for them when it comes to you than it is the logic of their mind. So let's see from your perspective. What do you think your ex-Gemini feels and thinks about you and the situation? Okay. Like, I just feel like they're not being realistic. Like, whatever they said to you or whatever they're expecting of you, it's like there's some aspect to that that's just not realistic. It might almost be a double standard where it's like, well, I can do this and say this, but you can't kind of energy. So you feel that your Gemini has given up on you, but uh, interesting, this is fire energy. You might be questioning, you know, if there's still interaction, are you just contacting me to hook up? And then the Knight of Cups, yeah. You with your Gemini X, you believe that they've given up on you and they don't really care about you. If anything, you feel like if they come around or want something from you, it has to do with some sort of like physical connection because we have the King of Wands here. So you don't have a whole lot of faith in this Gemini and their emotion for you. You really feel like they just gave up and um, it's just if anything, they come in for like a hookup sexually like that's what they want from you 
So let's see what the truth is about Gemini. How does Gemini really feel about you? How does Gemini really think about this relationship? Look at that. We have the Two of Cups. So interesting, this Gemini definitely does see you more than just a piece of booty, okay? But let's draw more cards because this is a general reading, so. But that card came out. All right, they have the Three of Wands reverse. They have Justice Upright, and then we have the Lovers Reversed. So, um, but we have this Two of Cups. What I see here is something happened here, um, because with this Three of Wands, it's a legit, like, I give up. There's, I'm sorry, Four of Wands Reversed. It's like, there's no stability in their emotion like how they feel is there's no real stability in this relationship for whatever reason okay there's some there's balance that needs to take place there's fairness and then we have this lovers reversed so either you did something and you know it caused your gemini to break up with you like there's something about you or it's that you know your Gemini did something because this is the Gemini card right here but it's reversed okay so emotions are not balanced things are not quite stable that's how they feel about you in this relationship that emotions are not balanced and stable um, there's something about the foundation of the relationship that isn't stable and uh, honestly I almost feel like um, either you are in a relationship with somebody else now or they are okay but there's still a connection between the two of you there is a love connection here that's why this two of cups came out you don't believe that they have any love for you you feel like you're more of just a piece of booty and that might be kind of how they're portraying it okay but there is emotion um i'm not saying to participate in that because there's emotion i just feel like it, one of you is in a new relationship and you still might be hooking up with each other because we have this connection. But um, it doesn't look like, you know, there's... Let's see. I'm going to pull a card for each one of you. So you are coming through as harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. And they are coming through as Gaia, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. Okay, so <coughs> what I see here is like you want to be with this Gemini. Like you see this relationship as the relationship for you, okay? Um, that's what you want but with them I feel like what's holding them back from you is something about their own inner wisdom and knowledge like there's again they see some sort of instability in the relationship or inside of you that is what holds them away even though we have this connection here so let's see what is this connection for you guys on both sides what does it entail for you to them and what does it entail for them to you And this here is a really, this is the most powerful card in this deck, and it's, you know, paired up with Justice. This Gemini not being with you is forces higher than the Gemini, leading them out of this relationship at this time, based on Gaia with its Justice paired up, okay? So this is like the prompting of their own spirit and soul to disconnect from this relationship for whatever reason, to not be fully invested in it at this time. 
So it's not even really like a conscious thing for this Gemini. <laughs> and we just had risk fly out. Yeah, it's something about your guys' relationship. It brings risk to this Gemini. Somehow, some way. That's why I really feel like you are both in a relationship with somebody else at this point, or one of you is in a relationship with somebody else at this point. So for you, you're coming over here as focus. Like you really want this Gemini, and that is that. The high priestess of air. Yep. Again, this is that uh like the spirit, the logic dictating Gemini in this, even though. <laughs> They're coming through as this King of Cups. Like, honestly, I feel like they're pre presenting this King of Cups to you, okay? Like, yeah, I still have emotion for you. I still have connection for you, which you're not really buying that. Like, you're questioning, you know, am I just a piece of booty to you? Like, is this love or what the heck? But at the same time, it's like, I love you, Gemini, and you are all I want. It's a risk to be with you. And here they are. There's something about you or the relationship shared with you where there's not the stability that is required. It's a great risk to be with you. And it's like their own wisdom, their own soul, like prompts them, you know, maybe this is not the best thing for you. Look, five, six right there. Four, five, six, six. So it's like a progression. Um, what keeps them from you is their own like wisdom of their soul, their logic. It's like the risk of this relationship is too great. So, you know, with lovers reversed, they're not letting their heart guide them when it comes to you. And that might be why you feel as though they don't have love for you. And, you know, they've abandoned the relationship, even if there is still interaction between the two of you. It's not about that. It's that they've allowed their logic to dictate how they you know are going to handle the situation it's not about their emotion it's about the logic of their mind and they're just in this place of um like i don't feel like they're being even though they they're coming from this logic like they're just not seeing things in reality as they really are it's like they need to balance that logic with their emotion. You know what I'm saying? And um, also I get where they're presenting one side to you, but then they're presenting this other side to you. So let's uh, pull some earth wisdom to get more information. Gosh, it's almost like they're kind of all over the place and that's why you're like, uh, I just, this is so risky anymore. Like, I just don't even know where they're coming from. And honestly, I kind of feel like they're not sure where they're coming from because they're in their mind. They're not in their heart. They're not balancing that energy to make the best decision for them. It's like they're stuck in their head. Um, like the wisdom of their soul experience of their past is leading them without the inclusion of emotion, which is why they're not able to fully move on or let go like there's just they're not balanced so we have rest clear aura and communication wow i shuffled the crap out of these cards between readings and then you just watched me shuffle again and i have to say the same cards just keep coming out over and over and over for you guys with a Gemini X, this the universe is saying, listen, it's time to pull back. Even though this is who you really want, it's time for you to pull back your energy. It's time for rest in this relationship where you're not putting energy into it anymore, okay? Because you need to get your energy filled, your aura balanced, okay? And with communication, I feel like maybe towards the end of March, or, you know, when you see this, the full, the new moon in Pisces, which is March 17th, um, look at this, and that says the 18th. So maybe between the 17th and 18th of March, there may be some communication or conversation that you share with this Gemini, okay? But for the most part, what the universe is saying here is, 
it's time to rest from this relationship and stop thinking about it so much stop trying to put so much energy and effort into it because this Gemini they need to get themselves in balance they need to include the emotion in their thought process in how they deal with you okay like that's what they need to do they need to clear their aura too they need to balance their energy as well and that's your advice here from spirit it's like this is not the time to act and try to reconcile this or even be pushing for that because there's things that need to happen here this Gemini really needs to balance themselves within and it has to be about the emotion as well because they're denying that to you even though they do have that connection with you through that two of cups okay so let's pull one final card We have the movement meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. Now, because this is the physical body and I talked about how this Gemini might show up for like a hookup, this is the universe saying, listen, stop it. Don't give, don't give any sort of intimate connection to this Gemini through March, okay? That is keeping you hanging on that's keeping you confused and you know as long as this Gemini can come and go come and go you know they don't really have to balance their own energy and that is so what is required here if this relationship can you know come back together and move on because again it's not indicated at all in this entire reading whether this relationship is forever over or if there's another possibility all this reading is telling me is that your energies are out of balance um, in regards to each other and the relationship, but for different reasons. And you really want to be with this Gemini, but this Gemini, it's like there's something lacking in the emotional aspect and you really feel that. Therefore, you just feel like a piece of booty, but there is a connection here. So, you know, don't hook up with this Gemini in March physically, sexually. Don't do it. You really need to focus on yourself and heal yourself and your energy, okay? No matter how much you love this Gemini, if they can't be in all the way with you, then they don't deserve you. Bottom line, end of story, okay? No matter how much potential you see here, I feel like if you kind of cut them off from being able to just swoop in and out, that's what changes them and causes them to recognize that, you know, they need to get their act together if they want to be with you, so... Those of you that have a Gemini X, these are the messages that I have received for March 2018. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and I am wishing you all the best. Take care.